Thank you for coming. Um, I was wondering if you could give us some insight as to how favorable um, what you're trying to put forth has been in Saudi Arabia and the Middle East as a whole in a culture that seems to kind of be against what you're trying to do. Um, actually, you know, um, astoundingly that um, I'm a tweeter. And I've been tweeting actually the fourth low. So every time I get, um, uh, uh, I go on a, on a, on a uh, conversation and a dialogue on tweet, I push on the fourth row. And I tell them, it's the only way, it's the, f it's, it's the only solution that you're going to have. <laughs> so you'd better actually back it up and, and understand it. And at the beginning, everybody was telling me, you're from Al Saud, you are saying that just to, to stay in, in power. You're just as bad as everybody else. You're just actually giving us a, a little bit of, of drugs, uh, a, a, a drug called the fourth law. And uh, it doesn't exist. And you're just saying that so, so we be quiet. So I had a lot of, of, of uh, uh, resistance at the beginning. And then when I start really being patient and telling them and, and explaining the fourth flow, they, find, they found out that most of the problems can be solved without bloodshed, without revolution, by simply applying this fourth, the fourth law into our population and constitution. In Saudi Arabia, we don't have a constitution. We don't have a platform. We don't have a, uh, we have different laws. We have lots of laws, but we have no constitution and we have nothing, no platform to build on anywhere. So right now, I started with 2,000, 3,000 tweeters three months ago. Now I have 35 tweeters, 1,000. And the more I talk about it, the more people are embracing it. And I found out that actually even people from Egypt, from Tunisia, from Syria, from Libya, from Iraq, from Yemen, everybody is tweeting back and saying and asking about the fourth law. What is it? Because the revolution hasn't solved the problems that the revolution was supposed to solve. They are more embedded in, in bloodshed. They have no way to go. Democracy has been all uh, uh, a marketing name, but with no substance whatsoever because the uh, uh, Muslim Brotherhood have come through elections, have come through democracy. And now on the streets, they are calling for the falling down of the Muslim Brotherhood because definitely elections were not, uh, 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 were not uh, um, uh, uh, proper. We were, they were not actually clean. So now, one month, three months after Morsi has been appointed, everybody wants Morsi down. So it is really uh, 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 the only way they are looking for in the Middle East right now, the people I tweet, the people that tweet me back, is that they're really asking about the fourth law, and that gives me a big hope that the first people who are going to be implementing this without bloodshed is my country.